Hello everyone and welcome to my 10 Great One Scrambles in Snowdonia. Let's get started. The Dyer D Ridge Omolshaba offers an excellent day out and it's no surprise that it received a 3 star rating. The ridge itself can be great as an introduction to scrambling. If you don't want a lot of exposure, stick to the left of the crest. But if you're a thrill seeker and you want some more, stick to the right of the crest. The scrambling is pretty straightforward. Most of the difficulties can be bypassed. But for the love of God, don't forget to look back to enjoy that cracking view. All in all, a very enjoyable route for all skill levels. Senior Scully on the glitter bar is best attempted in drier periods. It's not impossible during the wetter periods, but I found it incredibly slippery and the rock very greasy. The scramble itself is a lot of fun and the gully makes you feel quite protected. Plenty of great holds and excellent foot placements. As you gain more height, the scrambling gets better and better. And so does the view. Finally, coming out of the gully, you get an excellent view Canavian era. All in all, Senior Scully is a great scramble. Senior's Ridge can be found right on the exit of Senior's Gully. From here, you can carry on straight onto the summit of Glittervaar. Scrambling is much less than Senior's Gully. Most of the scrambling can be found on the upper part of the ridge. It is here where the route finding can be trickier, therefore I wouldn't recommend attempting it during poor visibility. Overall a very enjoyable continuation after Senior's Gully. The Egribbon scramble onto the glitter bar my first proper scramble in the UK and still to date one of my favourites. Possible for an ascent and descent. Most of the scrambling can be found by sticking through to the crest where you also find most of the exposure. The best views however are on offer when you're descending. The scramble itself is a lot of fun. But surprisingly, it only received one star. Standing from below, the ridge looks pretty impressive. And I hope you can see why this ridge is one of my favorites. The North Ridge of Trofan is definitely one of Snowdonia's classics. And it's quite understandable why it received its 3 star rating. The proper scrambling starts after the canning stone. Unfortunately I had to bypass the section by coming up on Nornor Grove instead. Still very enjoyable. Here the scrambling got spicier which made me forget about the horrible weather I was encountering. I was enjoying every second of it even though it was gusting with 50 mile an hour winds and hammering down with rain. I will be returning to this scramble end of the month and hopefully in better conditions. Little North Gully on Trafan is also one of my favorites. Here you'll find some fantastic scrambling great holds and excellent foot placements. Again, the gully makes you feel quite protected even though you're on some very steep terrain. Close to the top however, it gets a little bit boring by having to traverse some grassy banks. You 
can spice things up a little bit though by taking the Eastern Traverse and coming up on the back of Adam and Eve. All in all, a fantastic scramble. Kriplam, or Lek D Spur onto Karnet David, is another one of Snowdonia's classic scrambles. This scramble is famous for a slab of rock called the Christmas Train. The walk in is pretty long through some marshy terrain, but once you're on the scramble, it made it really worthwhile. The holds and foot placements are plentiful, however the rock can be slippery and greasy during fall and winter periods. Strangely the scramble isn't very popular, but there's a very fair chance you're going to find the ridge all to yourself. Overall a great scramble and a must do great one scramble in Snowdonia. The Gribben Ridge on the Snowden Range is another one of my favourites. Strangely, another scramble that's not very popular. It's very likely you're going to have the ridge all to yourself. The scrambling itself is very similar to Trafan. Some excellent handles and great feet placements. Starting off with a slab scramble, you soon gain height to the ridge. Some great link ups available afterwards, either to Glewit or onto Snowden Summit. After the slabs, the scramble will get spicier. Make sure you look back for some jaw dropping views. After the mid section, Scrambling mellows out a little bit, however, still fairly enjoyable. Nearing the top now, with a nice let's to traverse. Overall, one of my top three scrambles. Definitely will be attempting this route again on the end of May. Kripgog is understandably one of the most popular routes, with some great views and a huge amount of exposure on offer. Sadly, that said exposure still claims the lives of average eight people a year due to falls from high. Therefore, if you're inexperienced or doing it for your first time, I would highly recommend hiring a mountain guide. Having said that, if you've got a good head for heights, Kripgog will make for an excellent day out. The handholds and foot placements are plentiful. Try focusing on that instead of the looming exposure. When would I not cross the ridge? Any winds above 30 miles an hour, or heavy rain or heavy snow, the ridge will be for me a no-no. However, 
I'm yet to traverse Krepkoch in poor visibility or in winter conditions. After the ridge, it will be great to scramble over the pinnacles if you're able. The continuation of the Grubby Disco is definitely worth your time. Understandably, Kripkoch is another one of my favorites. You'll be able to find me on this scramble in the end of May. Bristley Ridge is by far my most favorite Great One Scramble in Snowdonia. Most popular approach will be Sinister Gully. However, I will be attempting Dexter Gully on my next two week outing. Once you're established on the crest, the scrambling gets better and better. The Great Pinnacle Gap can be quite hair raising, however, it's not as difficult as it seems. Bristley Ridge was my second Great One Scramble in the UK. Now it's grown to be my most favourite. So that's it for my 10 great one scrambles in Snowdonia. I will be out in Scotland, England and Wales for the next two weeks filming some epic scrambles. With a special coming out on the 7th of June, but don't worry whilst I'm away I've got two more episodes lined up. If you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. For now, thank you all for watching and I hope to catch you on our next adventure.